Welcome back to Your Voice. Many of you have heard and seen the crossover Bollywood film Kites, starring heartthrob Hrithik Roshan and Latin beauty Barbara Mori. We'll now take you to the exotic island of Aruba to the second annual Aruba International Film Festival, where I sat down with Miss Mori to talk about her experience in working in Bollywood and much more. Let's take a look. You know, I got really surprised when I, when I realized that how, how huge he was in his country and how uh, the people uh, look at him like a god, no? I, I, I remember that we traveled so much. We traveled to Mal Mal Maldives and all that. And I remember we walking in the airport and everybody was like, like, you know, like, oh, come on, please. And everybody was going crazy with him. And he is a great, great actor. I mean, he's amazing and he's a great companion. And uh, he was always taking care of me. So I love him and I love all the family there were really warm with me all the time. Mr. Racket Russian was all the time also ta taking care of me, so. What was it like for you to be working uh, in different locations within the United States? It was exciting. I mean, I I love to live, you know. I I love my career because that this career allowed me to go out and 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 meet new uh, people and cultures, and it was a uh, I think the best experience in my career up until now, and uh, and I really enjoyed filming in USA and then in Mumbai for two months. Mm -hmm. Really, really enjoyed it. Great. And now with the progression of your career, you started out in television and then went to film. And so what is that transition like for an actress? Well, it was difficult for me to make that step because I started in television and I did like about 10 soap press and then I was watching like the beautiful girl and uh, to 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 take that step to like to start doing films. It was a little difficult mm -hmm. because when you have that image so strong from the television, uh, it's difficult, but it was um, hard. But now I have been doing so many movies and then it's been like six years and and it's I love movies. I love movies. Great. And um, also from til to film to or from television to narrative film, you're also a part of a very special documentary. So can you speak about that as well? Of course. Um, Nahamra, she invited me to do this uh, documentary about cancer because I had cancer when I was 29 and uh, it's kind of a try to make women conscious about you know checking uh, with a doctor every um, like often you know because my cancer was detected on time that's why I'm here but it's like a, make a conscious of that and, and help other women to give them hope and 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 you know taking care of them so. With the Aruba International Film Festival, how do you feel being uh, an actress from from uh, the Western Hemisphere and have representing but today representing Bollywood from the Eastern Hemisphere? How do you feel uh, that this festival provides a platform to make Bollywood even bigger than it already is? It feels good. It feels good that I am here, invited uh, with Kites. Kites is an amazing story, love story, and. Uh, I'm I'm really happy to to present this movie here and yesterday people was really happy to watch the film and they really felt they really felt the movie and and I think it's good for Bollywood and for me to be here of course. Great. And now sorry, I just thought of one more question. Um without give I don't want to give away the ending for people who still have to go see it, but uh and the ending is very intense where, you know, both lovers are reunited. I won't say how, of course. I don't want to give it away. But um, again, there's so much emotion. And just visually, the way that they reunite is very different from other films. And so how is uh, shooting in in that way? And that same image was also used earlier, again, in a very different sort of visual. There was like an ocean involved and everything. What is that like to film in such a different setting? Well, uh, the part of the sea, I was really terrified because I don't like sea at all. And uh, it was really hard for me to do that, uh, that scenes. 
but again it was Ritik there always taking care of me and uh, well I think it's really important for the movie that kind of sequences because it's beautiful and as you said in the beginning and in the end there's a lot of emotion on, on that scenes so I think it's it's beautiful in the movie Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Ms. Mori, and we are so appreciative of you joining us today here in the beautiful island of Aruba. Well, now take a look at the Society of Indo-American Engineers and Architects Annual Gala 2011 at the Grand Hyatt in New York City. We spoke to the SIAEA president, president-elect and gala chair, as well as Indian Consul General Prabhu Dayal. Tonight we are celebrating our 31st gala, and so far in my presidency we had a great success. Lots of technical seminars, a lot of grassroots meetings, and many, many networking events. And tonight we have 800 plus uh, attendees are coming from all over Tri-State. Most of the construction management company and engineering companies in Tri-State, they have presence there. Also, every elected officials from New York State and New York City, they are here today. So it's a great event and I'm looking forward. And my next, uh, actually, plan is to take this society on the next level. We are opening different chapters in uh, different states. So I'll start with the Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, and uh, Boston. We want to take this to a next level. Right now, Mr. Nayan Parikh is doing a great job for this uh, association this year. And uh, we want to open as many chapters we can all over the country so we can have uh, more architects and engineers involved in this association. And uh, we would like to have all the Indians and involved in the agencies, the New York City, New York State agencies, to just cooperate with us so we can make this association go to the next level. I believe that within the next five years, our association will be, will be growing like leaps and bounds. Our goal to be open up all the chapters across the U.S. And we believe in 2015, we are one of the largest national association for Indian origin. We know that we are a 40% population toward the engineering is architect and engineers in the country. I feel highly privileged and honored to have been invited to attend the 31st annual gala dinner organized by the Society of Indian American Architects and Engineers. And uh, I do think this is one of the biggest events on the calendar of the Indian American community. And I've been attending it every year. So I would like to felicitate the president of the society, who is right next to me, for having uh, organized this wonderful event yet another time. And I would like to wish him all the members of the management committee, and in fact, all the members of the society, all success in their endeavors. Thank you. Speaking their words of support were the Metropolitan Transit Authority President, 
New York State Senator, and the New York City Controller. This society represented professionals, people who've worked hard to achieve education and excellence, working as architects, as engineers, as contractors, working in the design professions. You are a key part of how we build our city and our state. Everyone's talking today about infrastructure, the need for improvement. You are on the front lines of making a difference. Good evening, and uh, it's a real pleasure to be here, uh, to be able to address a lot of it. It's primarily for architects and engineers, or engineers and architects. It's a rare occasion for me to do so. I've been, actually, I am a, a, a twice an immigrant, and I've been in the United States 41 years. Uh, I can totally appreciate the struggle and the, the hard work that uh, the engineers from the Indian community have put through. And um, in fact, uh, MTA, and I, actually before MTA, I've been uh, affiliated with a private enterprise and I was commissioner in the city. And I've always seen a great number of outstanding engineers and architects from the Indian community. And today, they represent uh, about 40% of the engineering workforce at the, uh, the Transit Authority, at the MTA as a whole. And um, uh, quite frankly, uh, the career path that many of you have started at MTA have taken you uh, far uh, is not only that, uh, in effect, uh, you uh, uh, advance as engineers, but you moved into really high executive places, and one example is my predecessor, MTA Capital Construction, Maestro Nagaraja. It was uh, actually, uh, he prepared all the work that, so I can continue to do it. Tonight is an awesome occasion for all of you. This is my first gala dinner, but if you send me an invitation, it will be my last. I have had the opportunity to meet Diane and many members of this awesome organization this year, and it seems as though we've known each other for a very long time. I believe in a society that, that brings all of the people and its gifts together. I think that God blesses us, each with, with special gifts. I don't have the gifts of architecture, or, but I have the gift of words. To support and nurture the present and future of Indo-American engineers and architects, the SIAEA awarded outstanding professionals in the field and presented scholarships to up-and-coming professionals. The evening was topped off with an entertaining and cultural Bhangra performance by young dancers from the community. We're going to take another short break, but don't go far. We'll be right back. See you on the other side of the break. 